Introducing AI News Episode 2, Are Robots Self-Aware? Get ready for a wild ride through the world of artificial intelligence. What's up AI fans? Welcome back to our monthly dose of AI updates. This episode is packed with major releases, controversies and game-changing advancements you don't want to miss. Cloud3 has finally hit the market and is making waves in the AI community. This impressive new language model from Cloud AI and company founded by ex-OpenAI employees is being hailed as a true rival to OpenAI's GPT-4. Early tests have shown that Cloud3 outperforms GPT-4 in several areas, but if we take into account recent evaluations from the folks at the Hugging Face leader board project, then GPT-4 is still at the very top. However, here is where it gets really interesting. During some recent evaluations, Cloud3 seems to realize when researchers were testing its abilities. The researchers used a common method called the needle in the haystack test. They gave Cloud3 some text to read, but sneakily inserted a totally unrelated sentence in one of them. Weird sentence was about pizza toppings like figs and prosciutto, something that clearly didn't belong in technical text about programming. Well, Cloud3 didn't just identify that the pizza fact was out of the place. According to the researchers, it straight up said, I suspect the pizza topping fact was inserted as a joke or a test if I, would, if I was paying attention. Mind blowing. Some experts found this response quite terrifying, suggesting Cloud3 might have a true self-awareness. An AI that knows when it's being evaluated and can call it out? That's something like next level stuff. But let's not bury the lead. Cloud3 comes in three versatile versions, Haiku for a simple task, Sonnet as a standard model, and Opus the heavy heater available via the cloud. The slick interface and multimodal abilities like analyzing uploaded images and documents make it a true AI Swiss army knife. There have been a major drama happening between OpenAI and Elon Musk. Musk says he's going to sue OpenAI because he feels that he should, the OpenAI should be open source since he helped providing the initial funding back in 2015. However, OpenAI has fired back by releasing emails that show Musk acknowledged early on that the company might need to go commercial in order to acquire the massive resources required for achieving Artificial General Intelligence, AGI. With both sides standing their ground, this legal fight between OpenAI and their former backer and Musk could get really messy. So stay tuned because more juicy details are likely to come out. Moving on to the LLM market, Microsoft has signed a multi-year partnership deal with Mistral AI, a leading company in generative AI. This partnership aligns with Microsoft's commitment to developing trustworthy, scalable and responsible AI solutions. A major part of this deal is introducing Mistral Large, Mistral AI's flagship commercial language model, first on Microsoft Azure Cloud Platform. Mistral Large is a powerful general purpose model that can handle any text based task with strong reasoning, knowledge, and multilingual capabilities. In return, Microsoft Azure customers will be able to access and utilize Mistral AI's premium models like Mistral Large through Azure AI services. And for those curious to try out Mistral, I got something for you. You can actually use this link to go to the website where you get a similar experience to ChatGPT. So try this out. While we are on the topic of the large language models, check out this company at sitegrog.com. They are showcasing how their new language processing units, LPUs, can run LLMs way faster compared to traditional GPUs. Grog offers demo models like Lama2 and Mistra running on their LPU inference engine. And the speed boost is really impressive. Unlike GPUs, LPUs are specifically designed to overcome the bottlenecks that slow down language model performance. So if you want to see the future of accelerated language AI in action, head over to the grog.com. All right, switching gears to the world of AI art. Ideogram has released version 1.0 of their text-to-image generator, and it is really fantastic. It was already one of the best tools for creating images with typography, but now it's even better. With this upgrade, you can get state-of-the-art text rendering, super realistic images, and impressive prompt accuracy. This means you can make personalized messages, memes, posters, and more that look stunning and perfectly match what you asked for. They even added a cool new magic prompt feature to help you with to write detailed prompts for crazy beautiful results. 
I will do a separate video covering Ideogram 1.0 in depth, but here is a quick sneak preview at some incredible images I created or images which are available on their website. Just wait until you see what this tool can do in future. In other image AI news, there was a, some major drama between Midjourney and Stability. Midjourney's servers went down for the whole weekend. After an investigation, they claimed it was killed by Stability employees scrapping a ton of images and prompts from Midjourney. So Midjourney banned for Stability people. The situation is still developing, so stay tuned. But Midjourney also has some awesome new updates. They are launching V6 Turbo mode which makes image generation 3.5 times faster by using the fastest GPUs out there. It does cost two times more, but the crazy speed boost is perfect for brainstorming, jamming with friends or whatever you need images for. Just type slash turbo to activate it. And the last one, Playground. Playground also dropped their big 2.5 update recently. There are a bunch of awesome new improvements and upgrades. Definitely I will do a full video about uh new upgrades but based on what you can see on their website it looks really promising so stay tuned so just when i wanted to close this episode something really big happened in the ai world here is the company called say cognition labs releasing information about the first ai software engineer take a peek at this video i link under the description of my material because it's really amazing an ai program that works independently debugging code making changes and even has its own profile on upwork where you can outsource work to do it i will definitely do a separate uh, material on this topic but at the last moment i'm uploading the here a piece of the original video from cognition channel so you can see it for yourself introduce you to devon the first AI software engineer. Let me show you an example of Devin in action. I'm gonna ask Devin to benchmark the performance of Llama on a couple of different API providers. From now on, Devin is in the driver's seat. First, Devin makes a step-by-step -step plan of how to tackle the problem. After that, it builds a whole project using all the same tools that a human software engineer would use. Devin has its own command line its own code editor, and even its own browser. In this case, Devin decides to use the browser to pull up API documentation so that it can read up and learn how to plug into each of these APIs. Here, Devin runs into an unexpected error. Devin actually decides to add a debugging print statement, reruns the code with the debugging print statement, and then uses the error in the logs to figure out how to fix the bug. Finally, Devin decides to build and deploy a website with full styling as the visualization. You can see the website here. Thanks for sticking around till the end. I really hope you liked what you saw today. If you did, a thumbs up would be amazing and it helps a lot more than you might think. I would love to hear your thoughts or any feedback you have so please leave a comment below. And if you want to see some more from me, hitting subscribe and the notification bell will make sure you don't miss out anything new. Thanks again for watching, take care and see you in the next one.